to read what Sawyer uh, what said. Um, so, you know, I'm going to start with uh, someone much smarter than me, Katsushiko Miyagawa, uh, who is the guy who invented uh, PSG on <coughs> black, uh, which is uh, what Sawyer is basically selling you underneath Dancer. It's the reason Dancer doesn't have all the code that, um, that CGIPM has. All these CGIPM examples are so complicated, all these dancer uh, examples are trivial, and the reason is that someone is going to have a lifting for him. Uh, so, uh, the Agawa shows that if you're running a CGI, you need to write your postscript like this. If you're, write, you're running FCGI, you need to do it like this. If you're using Apache, you have to use this, uh, Mod Perl, I mean. If you're using God knows what, standalone web server, this. And, you know, all similar, slightly different, pain in the ass for all the web framework developers. The only one common way to do all of this, use CGI. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Happens to work on da 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 da, -da. And, you know, Apache, uh, Windows support uh, on the <coughs> Microsoft web server, not, uh, on, well, you know, that's him. But, Fantasy heartbreakers. Anyone heard of this term? Probably. Um, it's a coin someone on the internet invented for describing any independently published role-playing game which really tries to be a much better version of Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, you might have heard of the So a fantasy heartbreaker is like a book some guy wrote, published. It's like the indie, but better because it's got 30 classes and it's extensively playtested and it's much more realistic. And my point is, all these web developer frameworks are basically fantasy heartbreakers of the uh, web development area. Because it's been solved, this problem. Use CGI minus any uh, end and home attack. Uh, yeah, it's done. It's in the core. Now what is CGI? Again, in case you haven't heard about it, it's a stable, complete, and mature solution for handling HTTP requests and sending responses. It has form processing, file uploads, cookies, query string generation, to create new query uh, headers, and some HTML generation functions as well, which is all the weight of many, many, many functions. And it performs well in, well, practically anywhere, and it has benefited of over 10 years of development and use, deployed on thousands of websites, is a de facto standard. Who wrote this card? Lincoln D. Stein, Professor Lincoln D. Stein. <laughs> also, remember from How to Code Save the Human Genome, ask yourself, has dancer cured cancer? <laughs> 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 when developing the CGIPM, remember that Lincoln Design is most probably smarter than you. They must be. Now, my uh, colleague has made some uh, base accusations that CGIPM is slow. Well, it doesn't know the entirety of CPAN and it doesn't use Moose, so I think that point is moot. And there's CGI fast. Uh, Therefore, your argument is invalid. Uh, heavy. Well, heavy is because it's got the batteries in it. It generates all the HTML you need, uh, processes all the forms. You don't need to upload HTML form foo, whatever, or template toolkit, or what. So if you're loading that, don't complain about the weight because you're carrying the family back. Now, the tests, you can use debugging, it's very simple. You just pass all your parameters to the command line, you program the stage, your screen, and uh, you can see exactly what it's doing. Now, it's object oriented and procedural, which means you can either use new and use dollar Q, whatever, or you can use UCGI standard and just import all your methods. Now, the reason you can import all your no, because you can import all your methods, some of them have odd casing conventions. For example, there's TR because TR is already <coughs> keyword in Perl, built in uh, select, <coughs> which I've never seen you, delete with an uppercase, and reset. Well, I think there's a 
reset in curl, it's a core reset in all the codes. If you want to use reset from the call, call it like that because it has no friends. I, I have no idea. It resets the counters of hashes or something. Is it anyone? <laughs> but we get it. CGI lib PL compatible. This is, uh, you know, a strong tradition. Porting your Postfall scripts is a breeze. It has server push, which, uh, you know, that's like a real time web, isn't it? <laughs> yes, some HTML generation functions are included. So we're talking about basically a built in templating language, which, uh, sorry, mock, but um, which is actually from the you know, pretty readable, and there are templating libraries from CPAN which uh, are much more readable than this. In fact, his example is even better because they're very compact way of presenting tables. You know, I could just show you a code example and say, this is ugly, this is ugly. This doesn't really change much. Um, yeah. And it uh, generates like I said, form controls, and it handles parameters, and, uh, you know, he gave you the vars example, uh, which uh, just gives you a tight hash with all your variables. You can just use dollar fields, books, whatever, and if that's a plural, has multiple values, you get them the same. No delimited string. Um, now, he, Sawyer mentioned that you have the split, which is ugly and horrible and full, but, uh, you know, I can write code that does split and work fine if my value is single or multiple. If I get back a uh, array reference, I am fucked. Basically, because, uh, I have to write different special case code if it's um, to handle that and to handle a single value that's a single scan. <coughs> Right, now, it has its own params, and it also generates form controls, and uh, it gives you sticky values, and it has, it can generate URLs that call itself, and, uh, you know, the sticky values, they're great. <coughs> That's why it also supports new CGI no sticky, and overwrite, and delete, and get go, go! Um, and, lesser known features of CGI, then it has its own data serialization format. You can just save your object to uh, an open file handle, and you can revive it from an open file handle. You can uh, use this for debugging, you could use it for config files, you know, instead of going and downloading a different module just to do config files. I mean, it's pretty simple, name value, name value. Um, and, you know, it can handle uh, local records. Multiple, you can use it like for a guest book if you're doing a guest book application. Um, and in fact, because see, with the design, it's actually used by a whole bunch of other stuff. There's an entire module family on CPAN, I think, called Boulder IO. Uh, in the bioinformatics world, there's Primer 3, which is the de facto standard primer generation program. That was the Whatever, but uh, molecular biologists will use this daily, and uh, it uses um, basically CGI serialization um, for its configuration. Uh, yeah, I think I've run out of slides and time. Um, questions? You're speechless. <laughs> Why is Sawyer what? Why no, I'm Sawyer here. Away? I'm here. It's okay. Uh, there is a reason for that. <laughs> Florian. I have a question. <laughs> Can I just one, just one actually? I have a ton. I'll ask just one. Um, you said that the added weight of a template system on top of uh, something thinner. For example, a web framework that that is called Answer. <laughs> you said that if you had something like that, we should be complaining about the weight of CGIPM. Well, Answer, Answer, I think 
Was it Dancer originally developed by CGI people? Was it peer pressure that forced him to move to PSGI? No, it actually it moved way before other frameworks did. It, it moved way no, before Catalyst, for example. It moved really fast, not out of pressure. No, it was just originally a port of Sinatra, but as soon as someone suggested PC, PCI, uh, PSGI, it was moved port to it. Port of Sinatra running on? Answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this okay. is the question. Okay. Considering okay. Dancer already moved away, okay. why, w why wouldn't you? Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Why would I? <laughs> <laughs> um, because, I don't know. I have to ask my sysadmin to install mod PSGI or whatever the hell. Oh, you, you don't know local lib. Alright, that's a different topic then. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's right. <laughs> but it's the biggest no, I, uh, I, answer. I, I don't the biggest know what advantage. You already have it in every place. You, you have no conflicts with your sysadmin that you always need to ask him. I have that's why you best need local lib. Uh, local lib. You, you have no access to write uh, on, on the system. You can go and run it. Locally, it's incorrect. If you can load the script there, you can use locally. That's there's no more discussion. If you can put your CGI PM file there, what if about you can use your about CGI application. What about dependencies? No, no, local no. local lib allows sorry, you sorry, to. Sorry. No, You're, I'm saying Apache is not PSGI compatible, right? <coughs> it is. I need it is. Yes. Built in. I need yeah. a module. Right. You, you need the module, like you need the module it's for Perl, or for whatever. PHP, or for... Right, right. Which means I have to talk to the system and tell them... No, but you can Suggest run it on a fast CGI, install. or on CGI uh, compatibility layer. But basically, if you're using PHP, you're going to need a module anyway. If you're going to use Perl, you're going to need a module anyway. A lot of the stuff use modules anyway in Apache. How many sysadmins do you know that are against putting... No, no, I'm talking about Apache modules. <coughs> Yeah, I'm talking about Apache A lot of PSGI applications are running fast CGI, actually, because it's really easy. We're running fast CGI. What does PSGI give us out of the box that's faster, better? Does, what? It have, does it generate HTML5? No, it doesn't. Uh, it, it doesn't. Oh, well. You're right. Okay.